we're doing a phone session. So, hi Paula, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How are you, Jenny? Good. So, um, I just wanted to go through the points with you. Did you get the um, picture that I sent you with all the points on it? I sure did. Okay, great. So, let's go through the points before we do anything. I want you to tap on the karate chop point. So, that's that fleshy part under the little finger, as if you'd go karate chop on something. Okay. Sometimes people call it the side of the hand point. Okay, got that? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Now the top of the head, so as if you're a puppet on a string, right in the centre, more towards the back where the crown of the head is. Okay. So top of the head. Yep. Um, and then we've got the start of the hairs of the eyebrow, so just above the nose on those hairs of the eyebrow. That's the eyebrow point. Then you come to the side of your face and at the corner of the eye, right on the bone near the eye there. So it's not back at the temple, it's right on the bone. Have you got that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Cool. Um, under the eye, so the bone under the pupil. Next one is the fleshy part under the nose. Next one is the chin point, which is the crease of the chin under the lip. Have you got the crease of the chin? Yeah. Great. And now the collarbone. So if you follow your collarbone towards your throat and you find two little knobby bits underneath your throat, the end parts of the collarbone, have you got those? Yeah. So I want you to come down about an inch, slightly outwards, and there's two little hollows there. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you can tap either one side or both sides. Um, you can use one hand, two hands, whatever you like. I tend to use one hand with my thumb and uh, my fingers on that point. And then you can do under the arm, so you can go across the body or directly under your arm, which is about four inches into the base of the bra strap. Okay. So they're the main points that we're going to be using. Did you also get the video I sent you on the gamut point? I did. Okay, so the gamut point is between the little finger and the ring finger, um, back about an inch on the back of the hand. So that's the gamut point, you've got it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. and when we do the gamut point, there's some movements that we do, and the, I'll just go through them with you. So you close your eyes, and then open your eyes. Then you keep your head still, you look hard down to the left, then hard down to the right. Then you move your eyes slowly in a circle in one direction and then slowly in the circle in the other direction. And then you hum happy birthday. <laughs> Count to five fast. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And hum happy birthday. <laughs> so that's the gamut point. All right. So I want us to go back to the karate chop point. And um, it's important for you to let me know what's happening with you over there because I can't see what's going on. So if any memory pops in or anything shifts in your body, please let me know about it. Um, and if I say something that doesn't land with you, then you need to change the words so that it does. Or if you want to add anything in to make it more real for you, then do that. Now, do you have water with you? I do, yes. And tissues? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, so tapping on that karate chop point, just tell me what's going on for you. Um, uh, about six weeks ago, mm -hmm. I um, was walking in my garden and I um, twisted my foot and fell uh, briefly and uh, really twisted my foot on the way down. Which foot? Left or right? Um, my right foot. Mm -hmm. And uh, m most of it has healed up nicely. Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, a couple toes, my third and fourth toe in the middle, that are um, still in pain mm -hmm. and um, difficult to move. Mm -hmm. My doctor says it should be fine by now, like they should be um, moving. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little concerned about that. Okay, and what's the pain level out of 10? Uh, it's like an achy six. It's, it's not terrible, but mm -hmm. and that's in that those two toes. Yeah, the two toes, and then um, sort of a space at the ball of the foot directly underneath mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So repeat after me. Even though I've got this six out of ten achy feeling in my toes and the ball under them, 
even though I've got this 6 out of 10 achy feeling in my toes and the ball underneath them. On my right foot. On my right foot. When and it happened when I fell and twisted my foot. Happened when I fell and twisted my foot. About six weeks ago. About six weeks ago. I accept myself. I accept myself. And my foot. And my foot. Deeply and completely. Deeply and completely. Even though I've still got this six out of ten achy feeling in my toes. Even though I've still got this six out of ten achy feeling in my toes. And I'm a little concerned because the doctor said it should be okay by now. And I'm a little concerned because the doctor said it should be okay by now. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Even though I've got this 6 out of 10 achy feeling in my right foot. Even though I've got this 6 out of 10 achy feeling in my right foot. In those middle toes. In those middle toes. And the ball of the foot underneath them. And the ball of the foot underneath them. I accept myself and my foot deeply and completely. I accept myself and my foot deeply and completely. Top of the head. This 6 out of 10 achy feeling. This 6 out of 10 achy feeling. Eyebrow. This 6 out of 10 achy feeling in my toes. This 6 out of 10 achy feeling in my toes. Corner of the eye. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. Under the eye. They haven't moved. They haven't moved. Under the nose, the doctor said they should be better by now. The doctor says they should be better by now. Chin point, I'm a bit worried about it. I'm a bit worried about it. Collarbone, that 6 out of 10 achy feeling. That 6 out of 10 achy feeling. Under the arm, I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it. Top of the head, this 6 out of 10 achy feeling. The 6 out of 10 achy feeling. Eyebrow, I'm still worried about them. I'm still worried about them. Corner of the eye. My doctor said it should be better by now. My doctor says it should be better by now. Under the eye, they're not moving. They're not moving. Under the nose, and I can feel pain at the ball of them. And I can feel pain at the ball of them. Right under, uh, chin point, right underneath them. And right underneath them. Collarbone, that six out of 10 achy feeling. That six out of 10 achy feeling. Under the arm, asking my body to process and release. Asking my body to process and release. That achy feeling. That achy feeling. Top of the head and all of that worry. And all of that worry. Eyebrow, all of that concern. All of that concern. Corner of the eye, all of that concern that they're not moving yet. All of that concern that they're not moving yet. Under the eye, I can still hear the doctor's voice. I can still hear the doctor's voice. Under the nose, saying they should be better by now. Saying they should be better by now. Chin point, that 6 out of 10 achy feeling. That 6 out of 10 achy feeling. Collarbone, releasing and letting go of all the worry and concern. Releasing and letting go of all the worry and concern. Under the arm, allowing my body to heal itself. Allowing my body to heal itself. Okay, so take a deep breath. Have some water. And let me know what's happening for you now. Well, as as we were tapping, mm -hmm. it came up that um, the, the the day that this happened, the day I fell, mm -hmm. um, I uh, had gotten. I went to the doctors to get an injection in my back, um, mm -hmm. and it's a pretty involved process, and I have to get shots to. Um, I have to get shots to get the shot, <laughs> and um, I. I, I got a lot of guilt about I didn't tap, want to get tap them. on the karate chop point while you're okay. telling me sorry okay I am I'm sorry yeah. I didn't okay. I didn't tell you but I've been tapping the whole good. time good right. okay so um, I think I have a lot of guilt about the fact that I decided to get the shots because mm -hmm. I um, I know that the side effects are bad and one of them is that my foot goes numb mm -hmm. and my foot went numb and I was walking and mm -hmm. I fell and I fell hard and. Mm -hmm. And uh, really messed okay. up my foot, so it's kind right. of a guilty feeling. Mm -hmm. And where do you feel that guilty feeling in your body? <sighs> um, in the middle of my shoulders, in the mm -hmm. back. Yeah. And what is it out of ten? It's, it's like a six. Mm -hmm. it's like ten. Okay, so let's work on that. Even though I've got this six out of ten guilty feeling in the middle of my back, even though I've got this six out of ten guilty feeling in the middle of my back. I had to have injections in my back. 
had to have injections in my back. And I knew it would make my foot go numb. I knew it would make my foot go numb. And, uh, and I fell and hurt my foot. And I fell and hurt my foot. And part of me is angry at myself. And part of me is angry at myself. Because I knew that uh, my foot would go numb. Because I knew my foot would go numb. And I fell and really hurt myself. And I fell and really hurt myself. Even though I've got this 6 out of 10 guilt in the middle of my back. Even though I've got this 6 out of 10 guilt in the middle of my back. I should have been more careful. I should have been more careful. Does that land with you? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew my foot would go numb. I knew my foot would go numb. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Even though part of me is angry at myself. Even though part of me is angry at myself. And I've got this 6 out of 10 guilt in the middle of my back. And I've got this 6 out of 10 guilt in the middle of my back. I should have been more careful. I knew my foot would go numb. I should have been more careful. I knew my foot would go numb. I accept myself deeply and completely. I accept myself deeply and completely. Top of the head. I should have been more careful. I should have been more careful. Eyebrow. I knew my foot would go numb. I knew my foot would go numb. Corner of the eye. I fell and hurt myself. I fell and hurt myself. Under the eye, this guilt in the middle of my back. This guilt in the middle of my back. Under the nose, maybe my toes are still feeling that guilt too. Maybe my toes are still feeling that guilt too. Chin point, maybe they're feeling angry at me too. Maybe they're feeling angry at me too. Collarbone, maybe my toes are saying, you should have been more careful. <laughs> maybe my toes are saying, you should have been more careful. Under the arm, that pain in my back. That pain in my back. All that guilt. All that guilt. Top of the head. I should have been more careful. I should have been more careful. Eyebrow. I knew my foot would go numb. I knew my foot would go numb. Corner of the eye. No wonder my foot's not healing. No wonder my foot's not healing. Under the eye. It's still mad with me. It's still mad with me. <laughs> Under the nose. Maybe I can let that go. Maybe I can let that go. Chin point. Maybe I can ask my foot to forgive me. Maybe I can ask my foot to forgive me. Collarbone. Maybe I will be more careful if I have to have that injection in my back again. Maybe I will be more careful if I have to have that injection in my back again. Under the arm, releasing the guilt out of the, the middle of my back. Releasing the guilt out of the middle of my back. Asking my foot for forgiveness. Asking my foot for forgiveness. Giving my foot permission to heal. Giving my foot permission to heal. Okay, so take a deep breath. How does that feel? It, it just feels good knowing that that's probably what's going on. Mm -hmm. I, I just hadn't really thought about it. Um, less, less actual pain in moving my toes. They're, mm -hmm. they're still a bit stiff, but, mm -hmm. but there's, less, um, there's less pain in doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just do one final round on the karate chop point. Even though there's already less pain there in my foot, even though there's already less pain there in my foot. And I have a new awareness. And I have a new awareness. And so does my foot. And so does my foot. And it's processing and releasing the pain. And it's processing and releasing the pain. I accept myself and the way my body heals. I accept myself and the way my body heals. Even though my body's already healing. Even though my body's already healing. And there's less pain in my toes. And there's less pain in my toes. Maybe I can forgive myself. Maybe I could forgive myself. And allow my body to heal even more. And allow my body to heal even more. Top of the head. My body's already healing. My body's already healing. Eyebrow. My toes are already feeling better. My toes are already feeling better. Corner of the eye. My toes are already healing and releasing the anger. My toes are already healing and releasing the anger. Under the eye. My toes are already healing. My toes are already healing. Under the nose. My toes are getting better all the time. My toes are getting better all the time. Chin point. And I let my toes know I'll be more careful next time. <laughs> I let my toes know I'll be more careful next time. Collarbone. Giving my body permission to heal completely. Giving my body permission to heal completely. Under the arm. My toes are feeling better already. My toes are feeling better already. Okay. So take a deep breath. Have some water. How are your toes? And just notice if there's anything else in your body. Like, is that guilt gone? Well, um, I, I did um, have a feeling of a pretty nice release 
Yesterday I was working on some guilt related to um, teaching martial arts mm -hmm. and um, I had guilt surrounding um, not wanting to hurt anyone and kind of being um, pressured into competitive martial arts when I didn't want to do it mm -hmm. and I didn't want to hurt people. And I had this feeling of my toes um, being angry because I was um, mm -hmm. breaking so many boards <laughs> with my feet. Mm -hmm. And it was like they, it was like they said, like, we're, we're okay with what you did. Just don't do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just Good. like, you know, yeah, you're not getting back out there. You're not going mm -hmm. back in the ring. And uh, so that, that felt that so my shoulders feel 100% um, better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my foot's a, a little stiff, but it just feels like normal healing process. Good. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. Well, we'll talk again next week and we'll work on whatever comes up for you next week. Okay. Thanks, Jenny. Okay. Bye. Bye.